not what Hello. I thought we should do that meant. And welcome to TFLP Microcasters. Um, I am here tonight. We're a little bit late tonight because um, I had some stuff going on, so I had to push it back half an hour. So, uh, But I am here with Christian and Anna. Hello, I'm Anna. Hey. So uh, tonight uh, we are doing another round of figures that you can't actually buy <laughs> because they like immediately sold out. Well, I guess not immediately, but they they sold out before they came out. I guess that we should say. I guess I didn't even think about that. Like that was sort of my like founding principles. For this show is that we would talk about things that people could still get, and snuck then it right past you, just snuck it right past me. This is ridiculous. Um, I mean, theoretically. Theoretically, um, you could get them on the secondary market you, for more than they're you worth. You can still get it on Amazon. It's just more expensive. <laughs> you could probably buy a cone head if you wanted to. So. Other ones. I bet you could get this one. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, the 9 p.m. start. Uh, I know it's probably good for, like, Anna and I. Not as good for Christian since he's on the East Coast. really just kind of depends on, like, how long we go. Like, if we can actually keep them short, you probably wouldn't care if we started at 9. But I don't know. I'm teaching my first morning class in half a decade. So this oh, may not be the best time to start starting late. Mm. Well, I know it's, you know, the crack of 9 p.m. So you got to go to bed, bed early. I wish. So, but yeah, no, really? the, uh, the Coneheads, it's been kind of a, um, I don't know. I, I've seen some people online complaining about the fact that they couldn't, can't get these. I know some, some people in the local groups have, have not been happy and, and whatnot. So, I mean, they were up for pre-order for a while. They though, were up right? for pre-order for a whole month. If you're in the Was United States, month? you don't have an excuse. Sorry. I, I think that I really the thing is is like I feel like with all of this Earthrise stuff that you really just need to get it as soon as you can. Like don't mm -hmm. wait on it because it it seems like if I don't know if the quantities like if the demand is higher, if the supply is lower, or if it's a combination of the two. But for whatever reason, especially with all these exclusives, it's just really hard to get. Um, you know some of the figures. Like I know the Seeker pack was. You know, difficult to get that sold out. Uh, Omega Supreme, they're actually running again. So if you like lost out on, is it is it not? Is already gone. Is it is already oh, gone? Oh no, it's fine. I just don't agree with them running it again. Oh, what? Okay. Why don't you want them to run it again? I don't want Transformers to be a repack line. I mean, these Omegas, you know, they have to make like between twenty and thirty thousand more units. I don't think there's twenty or thirty thousand more people who need them. It's almost it's, Santa time. It's it's funny though because like it is one of those things where like because you see this with third party as well where like the price will go through the roof. They'll do another run and then they'll have to clearance it out That's because sick. yeah because they made too mm -hmm. many. So you do see that a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know if they're able to make a smaller run of, of these. Like I know um, there's been some Takara. Like I think you were saying, like the Tomi Mall. Um, like didn't didn't they? Aren't they doing another um, run of a, a few figures? They were exclusives. Not said it's another run. I mean, they restocked it and it sold out the next day on uh, Nemesis Prime and the Cons, and I think that's probably just canceled pre-orders or. An extra case here or there. I don't think it was yeah. a run. I did not cancel my pre-order. Yeah, Nick is calling out, uh, calling you out, Christian, on your numbers that you have for uh, larger figures. That he doesn't think that the the run would be that high. Okay. So I, I mean, we have no idea, but I, I, I have think no it's idea so for sure. The, the only production number I've ever heard was that. Running <laughs> ten thousand units for a normal retail figure was low. In 2004. That's all I know. Yeah. Things, <clears throat> That's the only concrete number I've changed. ever heard. I mean, the, you know, we have no idea. Like, we don't really have a lot of insight into factories and whatnot. And they may have changed things to where they can be a little more dynamic now. Who knows? We don't know. But, 
Nevertheless, if you want an Omega Supreme, it's up on Hasbro Pulse. So go get it. I think also the um, what was it? The tape set that we did our review earlier um, is up yep. to the Spy Patrol. They're up. Jetfire's back, and Ectotron yep. is back. Yep, yeah. all those, so. all of which we talked about. So yep. you could you could go and watch us talk about how they're all fine, but they're all fine. Spoiler. Yeah, no, I I think they're actually all good. Like, I mean, Ectotron mm-hmm. is a, a you know pretty good figure, and I think it may end up being the best of those collaborations. Like, I mean, we, we don't have the new ones in hand, but I don't know. I think from even pictures, I think that that, uh, looked better than, than the new ones that they're doing. Um, it definitely looks better than the Top Gun one. I don't know if it looks better than the DeLorean or not. The DeLorean looks seems, seems kind of neat. So, I mean, I'm excited for that one when it actually comes out. So, well, should we talk about these new toys? I heard you have some sort of weird thundercracker with a hat on. It's a totally different color. <laughs> it's a different blue. It's a blue guy with a hat. That seems... It's just thundercracker. They got Dirge. He's shouty Dirge, by the way. Yep. He's shiny. Which I didn't now, notice until later. Whatever. He shouts. Did, uh, is there been any type of confirmation of, like, different heads like they had for the Seekers? Or is it, I guess these might be a little bit different, because the heads are different colors and whatnot. Mine is also shouting. Not heard anything. But, uh, he's a totally different toy. Dirge is pretty shouty. These guys are cool. I mean, they're continuing the Seekers that we've talked about before. We talked about Starscream, we talked about Thundercracker and Skywarp, and now we've got these two. Uh, The mold continues to be great. The paint applications on these are phenomenal. The color choices they made for uh, the body parts, the the blue on Dirge and the orange paint on Dirge, uh, the white on Ramjet and the red paint on Ramjet, fantastic. They're exactly the colors they needed to be. You know, so uh, the cone heads in general, like I actually kind of think I like this mold better as cone heads than I do as the regular molds. Like I just really appreciate the like the remolding that they did on the figure, um, you know, to make it more accurate to the, you know, the cone heads. I really like the way that they did the paint on the wings. Like, I mean, it's just um, it's kind of hard to see, but uh, just the like the way the panel lining looks with the paint. Like, is just really fantastic. That was nice, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I it think just brings the only out that com- detail. I think the only complaint you can kind of make is, is the fact that they just threw the Null Ray Blasters in there from the regular Seekers instead of, like, their own. But, I mean, I'm sure someone is going to make an upgrade kit to, they to will. put the, right, the correct ones in there, so... So what all's new on these guys? What all's changed? They have the new <laughs> wings, of course. But both of them have different wings. The top and, ones uh, and they, bottom wings. They have new heads. The actual cone head parts. And those head parts look really good to me. You know, some people are going to say it's no faux parts because the actual cone of the plane doesn't form the cone of the yeah. robot. They haven't done that since G1. and that was I was going to say... Thing mistransformation anyway so and it was terrible on yeah. ng1 like it didn't yeah. look good the way you had right. to do it nope so this takes the cue from classics and masterpiece and keeps it going um i think lucas you might have said when we did the original seekers that you didn't like the head proportion so much i think the head is much more proportioned on this version of the mold yeah, I'm trying to think of the regular... Did I say that about the regular Seekers? I don't know. I, I think, it... think you did. I don't know. I think it looks good. I don't know. Like, I... like. Does this head seem looks... too small? Is that what you were saying? I don't know. I don't, I don't remember saying that, but maybe I did. I take the comment back, I guess. Um, <laughs> the other thing... Uh, so the legs are different, too. Like, the molding with the wings or whatever are, are different. Because, like, obviously, if you look at the the legs on Starscream, 
like there's there's a, the, there's a connector on piece yeah. on these legs. So like the back of, I mean obviously the front of the, the front of the legs are different too. Like they molded they the knees. Um, the knees mm. are different. I um, guess the knee pads, the knee mechanism itself. Yeah, like the, the whole the whole front of the leg is different, and the back of the leg is different. So. Okay, so there's quite a bit different on them. Like they, they look as different as they probably should, mm -hmm. I suppose. Yep. I don't know what else they could have remolded other than the null rays, but. No, they use a different. They use a different faceplate, though, right? Like they don't use the same inner faceplate. No, it's a completely different head. Okay. It just wouldn't look good, right? Like I've I've grown to accept that the um. That the cone heads are just a little more like square looking, I suppose, is the way to think of it, or more, I don't know, they look meaner, they look tougher, they have tougher, meaner faces. So if they didn't, that would be really weird for me if they had that like more, I don't know, lighter, softer face. I, f I feel like in general, the cone heads are characters that like, I don't really want a masterpiece version myself. Like, I just, they're not... I don't know. They're not important enough of a character to me to, like, warrant a Masterpiece version. Like, that's me. Like, I, I consider them kind of like a D-list character. And so, I got, like, I got the Toy World ones. Um, I never got the Masterpiece. But, like, it's, it's one of those things where I kind of got them and then I was like, I really don't want to devote shelf space to you know, to, the, to these figures. So, I'm happy to have them in this. It's kind of the same thing as, like, the Beast Wars kingdom or whatever like i'm very excited for kingdom because i want i would like those characters but i don't want to spend a hundred or two hundred dollars on those characters i had the yes model seekers for my, my masterpiece ones um because the cone heads when they came out officially were just outrageously expensive and plagued with quality control problems so i got yes model which yeah. is based on the mp11 mold and uh, I liked those a lot. The colors were good. The accessories were great. But, you know, once I stopped collecting MP as heavily, I stopped devoting shelf space to MP, so they just sat in a box. These guys, I'm pretty sure, will be on display forever. I mean, they're fantastic. Yeah. They're just really fun. The only issue I've had, and I don't know if I've ever actually said it on the show when we reviewed this mold before, is that I don't like how the chest piece here comes out of the shoulder piece because it relies on bending plastic around a notch as opposed to like yeah. a peg and hole. And I don't right. like that. And that seems like it's a piece that's going to break eventually. I don't know if I've ever it said might. that, but it worries me. I don't think you've said that before. I don't remember you saying it. You might be right too. It might be somewhat worrisome. I don't know. I mean, I don't think it's going to be as bad as, like, that Power of the Primes hot rod where in order to do the transformation, you have to clip it in. I feel like those are eventually going to wear out if you do it too many times. Um, luckily, I never want to transform that, but um, I don't know. Like, with this, I think if you're careful, like, normally when I'm transforming it, like, I try to, like, actually, like, move it right by the clip. You know, like I try yeah. to pull it out a little bit rather than trying to force it and whatnot. Um, yeah, and I I move it from the base here and just kind of move it on the hinge. Right. So that's probably where mine's going to break instead of the actual tabs. But yeah, it, it does worry me. That's the only only bad part about this mold. I mean, you know, I if it were I, me, in, I would have put a, a hinge trigger thing with the uh, the inner arm, I guess the armpit parts, and have it clip on there instead. But right. That's me, and I didn't engineer yeah. this toy. I mean, that's that's really been, like, from day one, it, like, the chest piece and the way that they do it has kind of been my big complaint. Because, like, I, I wish that they would have done something to where, because, like, there's a tiny gap. Like, you can get it so that it's okay. But, like, there's a tiny gap at the very top of, of the mold just because that's the way, like, it, it clips in. And then just, like, the, the chest is very boxy. And so it... You know, like that, that's kind of like my, my complaint. And then it kind of like the side has a little bit, of course you can't see it as much cause this is a dark figure, but like there's a little bit of a gap, I guess. If it, um, you know, like there, there's this gap or whatever, but I mean, yeah. I don't know. I think overall there's enough. Right. 
You mean that gap, right? Right, 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 right. One of the silver part there. Yeah. It's there on all of them. It's there on the cone heads. But the cone heads are darker, so it's probably harder to see. Uh, If you look ramjet directly on, you can see the white plastic behind it. Ooh, okay. But if you change the angle at all, it's you're right, it's darker and it's fine. Right, right. If you're looking Usually, at directly in the face, there it is. Yeah, gappy stuff works better with the darker plastics, typically to me. Like for the for the seekers, that silver, the gap in the silver on the chest really yells out to me if I'm looking for it. If I'm not looking for it, I ignore it pretty much. But it, it stands out to me real bad on these. I think I could deal with it on the cone heads though. Yeah, you I know, mean, I the think... silver part looks like different parts to me. Like they're not supposed to be one unified thing. I don't know why it looks that way to me, but that's you know, a Christian experience. I, I feel like that that like everything else is really good. So it's like one of those things where I've kind of learned to live with it. And you know, every Transformers figure is probably going to have some type of flaw. Like especially mainline. You know, I mean, I don't know when you're when you're spending twenty or thirty bucks on a figure. You know, I'm willing to, like, you know, be okay with that kind of stuff. Comparative to, like, if it's a Masterpiece figure, it really bothers me if they have, like, if they're going to have that kind of stuff. Right. And we've talked about this mold three times now. We're getting down to the nitty gritty of stuff we can, you know, pick out. Right. Right. I think all of us have said at various points that we like this Seeker mold. It's good. It's, It's not bad at all. I think if I could have one seeker, it probably wouldn't be these, but I still like them. That's only because if I would say that, I would also consider the expensive third-party figures. Well, that and, I mean, we have uh, a new Masterpiece seeker, you know, round of seekers coming out That's as well. True. Uh, so, I, I like the, I mean, I don't know if you've seen it, like, I think that it, you know, it'll be better, like, once we actually see the, um, in color you know, like right now we're just seeing like the gray prototypes and whatnot, so it's kinda hard to hard to imagine and whatnot. But like I I think that that new seeker looks pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Look Four hundred dollars a piece good. I don't know that yet. If you the viewers haven't seen yet, there's some really early prototype pictures of version three masterpiece Starscream. And you can check him out and see if you like him or not. He has a much bigger head. Much more um, attempt at cartoon proportion. So he's interesting looking so far, but I don't think he's done by any means. Nick was asking, like, if any of our secret molds, like, have, if their chest is, like, slightly warped, um, making it a little more gappy on ours. I don't, I mean, to me, I feel like all of mine have been pretty consistent. Um, I think I see what you're saying. You mean, like, the shoulder piece goes up a little bit? Because I'm yeah. noticing that on my sky warp now that I look, like the the shoulder piece kind of dips upward. I feel like it's Just also kind of how you transform it. Like you, you can kind of get it and like move it down a little bit, and it'll like be better. Um, but yeah, I don't know. So I, I, I think so. Yeah. Ron asked if we were going to get more of this than we had the last year's Seeker Mold, the Cybertronium one. And I want to ask a question off of that. Do you, When we went through the original Seeker Mold, I think everyone pretty much agreed that replacing your classics with these would be okay. Um, that you, know, you might not have to do that depending on how you collect or who you are, but it wouldn't be so bad because they do have similar transformations and all that good stuff. So, what about replacing this guy? What about replacing my classics Ramjet with that Ramjet? Is it is it the right choice? Is it the wrong choice? Is it better? Because this guy sure does look pissed about something. It's always amused me. Me, personally, now, I, I was not into uh, the classic Seeker mold as much as Christian is. Like, when I say he's into, like, I don't I don't have, like, 20 versions or whatever that, that you have, Christian. Um, so, I'm not starting from a place where I need to replace 20. Uh, but for me, I mean, I think that this is absolutely better. Like, I just like the size better on these and the articulation, of course, as well. Um, but, I, you know, I would 100% replace, like, my classics with all of these. Yeah, if you're not me 
and you didn't you know invest a whole bunch of time and, and money and space trying to get as many versions as i did uh i would recommend that you replace classics with this one it always bothered me that the classics mold like the a- classics astro training and um and the seeker molds like it always bothered me that they were so small that they were deluxe class um so i'm happy that we're getting a larger version um and you know an earthrise siege or whatever of these yeah they are significantly larger like i know people talk about how figures are shrinking but you know this is a classic seeker and a and a new one and there's a significant size increase i mean this is definitely a larger figure it's not like Voyagers have quite got it down to deluxe size just yet. Right. I don't think anybody really talked about the Classics one being small when it came out. Everyone was just like, it's the size of this. Yeah, it was appropriate for the line it was in. Right, right. So my next question is, you have, Christian, you have your wall of seekers that we've mm-hmm. talked about on the show multiple times trying to make you internet famous about it. So... <laughs> You have this wall, this butterfly display of a bunch of seekers all in jet mode. You know, not in robot mode, all in jet mode. Yes. Do you think that these guys would make an equally good display? Because that display does look good because the classic seeker mold does look good from top down. Uh, in jet mode. Yeah, probably, yes. You have to make it bigger than what mine has if we well, have all the versions. Because these are bigger toys. But yes, I think they would be comparable, if not in some cases better. I guess we haven't talked about the alt mode at all. Like how you guys feel about that as compared to good. Okay. Yeah, we mentioned it a little bit in the beginning, but the remolded wing pieces that these guys have are perfect. You know, sometimes they they modernize and update. Uh, these are exactly the right mix of updated and classic looking. I mean, they are perfect. Okay. Yeah, I don't know that I would like get two of the mold to you know display in each mode, but um, yeah, I definitely think that the alt mode is you know looks nice. Yes, Anna, are you challenging me to to transform it so that way we can? Oh, no, not measure. not really. I was just curious. Because I know Which that... Doing, Lucas, I'll do the other one. Um, um, Ramjet. Ramjet, sorry. I like lost my train of thought here. Thank you. Okay, I've always liked Ramjet. And we, we don't have this one yet, right? There's no... Thrust, Thrust is not mentions. out yet. Or, if you pay attention to any... Transformers groups on Facebook. Uh, how dare they announce Sandstorm and not make Thrust ever? Because Thrust is never going to get made. He's not coming hey. out. Yeah, that's you know what's thing. funny like, is we have been telling you that you may not be able to get these two, but you can probably get a weird sand-colored version of this mold that yeah. homages pretty much nothing. That is wait, wait, what are you talking about? Select. It doesn't <sighs> homage. What's nothing? Nothing is an unreleased G two figure. Yes, that is pretty much nothing. That is not nothing. That is like <laughs> that's exciting. Like, I'm very see, that's what the difference is. is some, there's there's certain people, you know, uh, that are very excited for that mold to come out. Oh, I know. I I mean, I went ahead and grabbed one because I just like the coloration and the fact that it has the angry airplane face. But at the same time, I mean, it's just a little bit of a left field. Look, if that's what they need to do to give us more of this mold, I'll take it. Huh. That's funny. I mean, that's the thing is, is that I think that Selects is trying to kind of be like the old collector's club. And so... Absolutely. I don't want to comment as the thing, but I want to like Nick's comment when I offended him. There we go. Oh, where Nick's uh... He said I offended him, so I like the comment. Hmm. Yeah, it, it just depends on the kind of collector you are, right? Like, I, I went through a phase, you know, doing this show and being more active in the community where I was also getting excited about these really obscure recolors. You know, and be like, oh my goodness, it's really like Combat Hero Megatron. You know, that was the one that 
it was like, oh, wow, all the excitement got to me. Everybody was really pumped about it. I had never heard of it before. I didn't know about that figure. I wasn't really intrinsically excited about it. I was kind of following on everyone else. I got it, and I really don't like it. Yeah, the combo here, like, I'm I'm a lot more excited for the... Um, nice. Uh, for the G2 version of, or I'm sorry, for the green tank version of Megatron than that combat hero one. Like, I I kind of agree, but. So, yeah, I mean, this is a really nice looking jet. I mean, the underside is, you know, the underside doesn't look too bad. Yeah, I, I actually that... think the fact that the, um, the leg knee pieces, like, go over the crotch piece um, makes it actually look a little bit, I guess, better i don't know this thing could still use landing gear you know i get why it doesn't come with it it has nice paint apps in lieu of extra parts so that's a that's a sacrifice i'm willing to make in this instance but you know it could use it whatever yeah, yeah you saw lucas okay. and i transform these at the same time it took us the exact same amount of time they're not hard to transform no, it's not, not quite as flat in jet mode as the classics though right it's a little thicker. Um, I don't want to transform mine because I'm afraid he's going to break. He does not feel... Why? He does not feel sturdy anymore. Um, he feels weak. So, yeah, I think... Um, isn't Thrust, isn't he uh, going to be a Target exclusive, I think? That's a rumor. We don't know that for sure. That's the rumor. Yeah, I guess we don't know. But it, he's going Dirge. to be an exclusive somewhere. Dirge. They're about yeah. the same. They're about the same. The legs are a little less egregious on the old one, but... See, the Classics one did a really good job at being exactly G1 for the new wings, because these stabilizers go straight up and down, whereas the Earthrise one has them at a bit of an angle. You see that? The angle outwards a little bit. And to me, that looks nicer. Looks like it's you know more functional. I don't know. It looks cool. accurate. Oh my goodness. I don't you know, know if like it's show mode. accurate. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not looked to see what's what the wing configuration is on the show. You made a good point though, Lucas. These guys are kind of like as much as they've been a part of the community for a long time now, and we're, we just like expect to get them. They were pretty much C characters. You know, they just weren't really. I think you call them D characters, actually. They just weren't really that important to many stories. And, no. you know. We haven't, we haven't gotten new Seekers. Not, I'm sorry, we haven't gotten new Coneheads other than the Masterpiece one since, you know, 2010. Or, in Ramjet's case, I think his last figure was 2006 for Classics. I don't, I don't think he was released well, domestically since then. And, and that was one of the things I just thought was nuts is, is that, like, how are they releasing Masterpiece versions of these things? And I realized they were, like, a Tommy Mall exclusive, and they, like, sat on clearance at, you know, all these places and whatnot. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's just weird getting a Masterpiece version and never getting a, an updated Generations for, uh, version. That's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah, Dirge and Thrust from 2010 and Generations, the first wave. Or first and second wave. Second and third wave? Whatever. And Ramjet and Classics. And they, they have various Hinke or uh, United releases as well since then, but no, nothing in the States. Weird. Jacob, was, more. Jacob was saying he's surprised that Myers isn't getting anything exclusive like Walmart and Target. Has Myers yeah, ever had an exclusive? It's a, it's no, a I think that's the, I think that's the thing, Christian. I think Myers is too regional. Okay. I think, I think it's north. like in more of the Northwest or I'm sorry, Northeast and like whatever Midwest, like upper Midwest. Is I went to one in Michigan. In yep. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Myers is how you would read it in two syllables. I always thought it was majors. Whatever. No. I don't I don't know, man. I don't know what that is. I've never seen that. I've heard people from like Ohio, Michigan talk about Myers, but I Yeah, I've, I've been to one. Like, They're real. I've been to Michigan. I bought yeah. my um alternators Optimus Prime there. In two thousand I guess it'd be two thousand seven. 
I remember that. I owned her for like three years. That's probably the answer, uh, whoever asked that question. They're, no, I think it's just the places. Yeah. I yeah. Think but I, mean, I think the places where they're around. at, like, it's a, it's a major chain, you know? So it would be like a Target or Walmart in that area. But, yeah, it's just not all over the U.S. So... I yeah, because they, they do have stores in quite a few states, but not all of them. I don't think uh, there's any in Kansas. But uh, I was going to say, like, Walgreens, I would expect them to have an exclusive, but they haven't said anything yet. Like, that's the thing that's so weird is is that, like, normally the, uh, the Walgreens exclusive is always out at the very end of October. Like for Transformers, like because it always like it it always would fall like right on TFCon. Like as we're driving to TFCon, we could you know like they've been sighted whatever. Like we did that last year with Ratchet. Oh, I remember Lucas. We had to stop and go shopping for freaking Ratchets on my birthday on the way to TFCon. It was and you found them and brought me one. And I didn't get one, even though it was my birthday. I mean, look at this. Part of it, though, was is that we were ahead of Paul at the time, and so we were trying to stop off at all the Walgreens ahead of him to clear them out so that, like, he wouldn't be able to clear them out. Because we care about our friends here at TFL. Yeah, so we were we were clearing them all out to, to sell to people at the retail price that we bought them at instead of, you know, a marked-up price. Um, and so, uh, but I think Paul ended up on the way back... Like, went you a got different some. route and, like, hit... We got more on the way there, got though. Some, so. We got more on the way there. We found all of them. We stopped at way too many Walgreens and an Ollie's. So. You did get a cake on your birthday. That did happen. I did, and I appreciate it. That was thanks to Christian. Thank you for my birthday cake 10 months ago. On air. There you go. Was that it that long ago? My goodness. Re- he really was. saying he thinks that uh, Walgreens is blue streak, so that's the rumor <laughs> we've heard, but who knows? Maybe. Maybe. Walgreens is extra annoying. We should probably find right out now. about that rather soon. Walgreens lets you order online, though, right? Sometimes. Uh, Walgreens, you said? Yeah. Yeah, they should, like, it's... It's usually not right away. Like, usually it goes up, like, after the fact. So, like, a month later after they show up in stores. I'm just asking because I know I'm not the only person on Earth who thinks it isn't quite worth it to go toy shopping during a pandemic. So, there's right, probably other people. I think there's a lot of people that, online. like, need necessities like medicine and whatnot. And so, when they go pick their medicine up, they may pick up an exclusive figure. So, I really don't want to go to a pharmacy. Hmm. So, anyway, but yeah, so back to Dirge and Ramjet. Um, they are, you know, really nice. I really like what they did with the remolding and whatnot. And I think they're fine figures, and I would highly recommend them if you can find them. Yeah, they seem good. I didn't get them because I'm mostly a worm for character collector. So, you know, I have them right here in my DX9 versions and they're, you know, they're small and fine. And like, these are really fine. Like they're just generic, simple transforming robot planes. And like Lucas said, for the cone heads, I don't really need anything nicer. This is good enough for me. I would definitely have gotten these if I didn't have any, because the price is, hey, I think the original retail on these guys was probably like 30 bucks each. I think I ended up getting them for like 15 to 20 each, but um. Yeah, they're they seem fine. Yeah, I agree. Get them. All the mold soon. A lot of us will when we get sandstorm. So yeah, I just hope that like somehow Amazon finds some more to put up because I know we at least have some local collectors that are still looking for these guys, or for the listeners that. You know, we're, like, talking about how great they are, and then you're like, oh, but they're, like, $140. Like, I think you might actually be able to get the Masterpiece versions cheaper than the current aftermarket. So. You know, Car will have a run of these eventually, just like they're doing with uh, that's true. the uh, Seed Skywarp uh, thing true. that was recent and the uh, Skywarp Thundercracker pack. I mean, there will be other avenues to get them. I would not pay that huge 
markup right now but i'm not what kind of crazy world are we in where you're like all right i had to order the dakara one because it was cheaper yeah we're in the world of limited stocks just back to what lucas said if if you're uh if you want something from this line or any transformers line right now that's an exclusive just order it when it goes up i mean that's the best policy no, I agree with that because I was, I actually had decided I would never get an Omega because I thought it was gone. You know, I thought it wasn't going to be in stock again, never going to come back. And I wasn't going to pay a markup because I don't actually like it that much. But then today when I heard that it was in stock, I was like, hmm, should I go ahead and get it to complete my Titans collection? So now you yeah, can consider I mean, that too. The, Good luck. That's the main reason that like I got it like... You know, I was kind of talking about the DX9 one, um, and it is, like, 100% better of a figure, like, overall. Like, if you just feel it, like, it just, it feels really high quality. And the Fans Toys one as well, um, you know, they're definitely more masterpiece figures. But, like, for me, it's like, I've got all these Titans that are Hasbro figures, you know. And so I kind of, like, I kind of want my, like, everything to blend in and have a similar look and all that kind of thing. So it's like the having just like one omega and i guess like i think fans toys is supposed to release a fort max at some point in the future like they, you know maybe you have that to go with it but yeah so people are calling out all the uh old places you could get toys at like jc penny um had a toy section ross like my our ross actually does have a toy section like I, i'm not it a big does. fan of ross but it's, um, I haven't gotten much there. Yeah, it depends. Like Christmas time, it's usually better, but um, got yeah, like two yeah. transformers there ever. One and was the a K- Mars converter. KB Toys, like that was also, like we had locally, like we didn't have a Toys R Us. Like it was, you had to drive to the big city for that. So the KB Toys was in the mall, like locally. So I used to go there all the time. KB was great. What? What are you Kitty talking about? not great. I like Kitty. Kitty was good. As a kid, Kitty it was okay. fun. Like, anywhere where you could and go and, and They mess... were always dilapidated. Oh, uh, the one... Oh, uh, well, you know a... what? The difference is, is that, like, since we're older than you, like, probably by the time you went to KB, like, they were dilapidated, whereas they were, they were like, newer stores. They just never I remodeled. I am, like, ten years younger than you, Lucas. Because they went out of business. Yeah. They went out of business when we when I was in high school. I guess you probably might have been starting college, I guess. Yeah, it was kinda like the same story with uh Kmart as well. Like people were mentioning about that. And it it was kind of the same thing where like the Kmart's like they never re- like they remodeled the Kmart's when I was in high school. Like I was part of that remodeling or whatever. And Me too. They, they never remodeled after, like, like that was the last time they ever remodeled. And so it, like, was really bad by, like, by now. Like, if there's too any much. Kmart still alive. I, I think there's a handful of Kmart still around, but not that many. There's one in Raleigh. Every time I come across it, I'm like, whoa, what year is that? <laughs> yeah, we a, I don't think KB closed when you were in high school because I... I thought it did. I was in high school and bought my last figures there, which was animated Swoop and Sentinel. In Maybe not all the KBs closed all at once. Maybe. Maybe I just thought all the ones around where I lived closed, so they were gone. Maybe that's what happened. I also we don't were remember. not in high school at the same time. No, we were not. Surprise. No. I don't know. I didn't like KB. I didn't like Kmart. But no, that's just, <laughs> no, yeah, but like but they, I worked there. <laughs> I worked for Target for a little bit. That was interesting. So, yeah. But no, I mean, I think work, like working at Kmart or probably if you worked at a KB toy store, you could probably see why they went out of business. You know, like I could, I, I could definitely see like this, this, the inventory management system at Kmart was just complete garbage. So. Anyway, um, yeah, so thir- uh, 
uh, Ramjet and Dirge, like, uh, great figures. I would definitely go out and get them if you can um, to complete your set. Anything else we want to say about it? No, nope, all done. Don't buy them for crazy prices. And yeah. learn next time that you need to order stuff immediately. I, I mean, I would say, like, at some point, like, they'll probably get another stock or like you can always like there's probably gonna be somebody selling it or whatever somewhere that yep. they'll, you, they'll get another you know, stock or the car versions will happen you'll be able to get those it will be fine i would definitely say that like i wouldn't pay crazy prices for these like i would probably go ahead and get the masterpiece or like a third party you know legends route or something like that like i would not pay 140 dollars whatever these things are going for nope don't do it uh, if you get one of the nice ones, they're nicer. But it is still fantastic, like, a very fun figure. Like, I really enjoy it, but I yep, wouldn't pay sure. a ton of money for it. So, anyway. All right, well, uh, if you want to check out last night, we did a kind of a State of the Fandom 2020 uh, thing. It was. It turned out a lot more positive than what I thought it would be. I was a little worried that it was going to sound like, you know, a bunch of, you know, old people just talking about how it was much better back in the day but we actually kind of spun it and said that you know that the the fandom and and just the modes that you know with social media and all that like there's just a lot more information out now just a lot right. easier to collect um and whatnot so if you want to check that out uh that video is up on youtube last night uh no ouch my wallet this week that'll be next week um and then uh cut the tape if you want to check that out uh, as well and then tf talk news is on hiatus at the moment they just finished their first season a couple weeks ago so uh they will be back but i'm not sure when so you can anyway. always watch last week's ouch if you want to see me talk about this lovely yellow watch person <laughs> the, the knockoffs never end do they anna oh you bet they don't the whole show. <laughs> Four knockoffs, my friend. Uh, I was all about it. And next time I'm out, it's going to be like 30. There you go. There you oh, go. boy. All right. Well, thanks to everyone in the chat. Uh, Tony, Randall, uh, uh, Nick, uh, Ron. Uh, so thank you, everyone, for uh, contributing. If you want to continue the chat, join us in our Discord channel. And we will see everyone next week. All right. Uh, see y'all. Thank you.